This is something that I've never talked about ever. Lately, within the past year, I've been thinking about having kids. I think it's possibly because a lot of my friends are having kids now, like Marissa and Brittany. You know, people that I'm trying to date or thinking about dating have kids. Do I really want that? And I don't know, but what I do know is that I know nothing about the process. So I enlisted my favorite sperm and egg bank, Cryos International, and my favorite new lesbian mom on YouTube to help me through this all. And I'm going there right now. Good morning, babes and babe lovers. Today, I am back with Sandra Ray. I am married to Missy and we just had twins. We conceived with a sperm bank and we went through the whole IUI process. I had team two moms on my channel, but I've never talked about how lesbians can get pregnant. And it's not just like shooting your vagina up with a turkey baster. Like that's not how it works. Which a lot of people think that that's it's exactly. Not, it's literally not that easy. Yeah. Like, you guys also talk about this on your YouTube channel. Right? Yeah. You talk about what it's like being a lesbian family. We are partnering up with Cryos International Sperm Bank. I didn't realize that 80% of their clients are gay and lesbian couples. Okay, so now you're gonna basically school me on what the step, there's like five main steps that you have to take okay. to get pregnant using a sperm bank. In my opinion, that's the best way, that's the safest way, that's the way most of my friends have done it. Actually, yeah. all of them have done it. Yeah. Step number one, finding a doctor and place that you're comfortable with. Okay, so step number two, deciding who would get pregnant. So between the wife and I, I was like, well, I always want to be pregnant. You know, Did I've, you really? I've always wanted to know what it's like to be pregnant. So then Missy was like, well, Hey, Go ahead. You have to know your cycle. You literally only have like two days out of a month to get pregnant. Okay, so once we decided on who was gonna get pregnant, we have a doctor and everything, we're like, okay, so what sperm is gonna be put inside of me? Okay. And that's kind of like you decide on a sperm bank. You have to find one that you trust, obviously. Yeah. You yeah. have to be comfortable with them. Like, I feel like we called our sperm bank multiple times to ask them different questions and they were always ready to answer the questions. Yeah, they better. What's counseling that you can get that can help you, you know? How are you gonna answer questions when your daughter or son asks you, where's daddy? And you're in a lesbian relationship. So like, oh, yeah. it's pretty cool that they have counseling available too. And you guys talk about that stuff on your channel, right? Yeah. So oh, they yeah. Can, whoever is watching this and you wanna see lesbian parenting and stuff like that, obviously Team Two Moms, they're my favorite. <laughs> Yeah. Because they've been around forever and yeah. I love them. Yeah, yeah. You guys have an amazing channel too, so I'll put that in the description below. Choosing the donor obviously is a huge step. It okay. took us a long time. Right, Cryos helps you, you know, they have like a list of, of what they, you know, their nationality mm -hmm. and their weight and their height. How exactly do you screen the donors? Because that's something I also know nothing about. Okay, so we actually have a lot of screening things for the donors. They have to get through the first application. Okay. Then there's a second application that goes into a little more in depth about their family history. So we're okay. looking back to like their grandparents to see if there's any type of anomalies with, you know, cancers or. Right. Um, you know, dying young, what were the reasons, doing a double screening, and then they will come in. We actually do blood tests, we do genetic testing, we do background checks as well. So okay, that's, that's very like important that. because, you know, some of the other places don't do that, but we feel like safety and security is a big deal, so we want to make sure that they're passing that background check. And then also looking at to make sure that they do either have a degree or they're, you know, doing some sort of technical work or something that shows that they, you know, have gone through some sort of educational process. We chose somebody that was Italian and African American, which we wanted. And we looked at all the height measurements. We looked at his personality. We learned everything about this guy. You can hear their voices sometimes. Like sometimes there's like little audio clips, but it'll be like, this is the reason why I'm donating my sperm. Why do you think most people uh, donate? Do you they just they just want to help people that can't have families type yeah of thing. I mean a lot of our donors are very altruistic and they mm -hmm. either know like maybe a lesbian couple or a couple who's heterosexual that has problems right. you know the male X factor thing right. and they just said you know I'm not having kids or I don't want kids right now but I think this is a cool thing to, to do, do and to help other people so step five would actually be how you want to do the process there's right. IUI, which is more of a simpler process. It's basically getting the sperm injected into you. Or there's IVF where they extract your eggs and then they kind of put the sperm with the egg in a petri dish. Yeah, they put it in a petri dish and then put it back in you. So I did IUI, which was, like I said, more simple and it kind of just like, he wants to rip my tattoos off. <laughs> Does he really? Yeah. They kind of just inject the sperm. It's like basically having sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did that one because it was cheaper in the beginning. Okay. So I was like, if that one doesn't work, then obviously I'll do the IVF. I mean, there's a lot of women that if you have uh, fertility issues, um, then you can do IVF where 
maybe your eggs aren't dropping or you can't get pregnant yourself, you can get a donation, like a, a donor um, to mm. give their eggs and you can get your husband's sperm or you know, obviously I'm talking right. like straight couples. Yeah, but, yeah, straight couple, yeah. um, but I mean, they can build a baby in a dish and put it inside of you. That's what Ridiculous. IVF is. I should know this because I'm a woman, but I have no idea. <laughs> I know, I know. No, it's, it's, and I think a lot of people that are watching don't know. I didn't know a half of this stuff. It. I'm actually going to head out to Cryos in a little while. No idea what to expect, but I'm going to answer all of the questions you guys asked, and I have questions of my own. So what's the difference between anonymous and a non anonymous donor? I mean, I know the difference. Like, actually saying it. Yeah. Um, but is the process any different? The difference between the anonymous and the non-anonymous is really the contact with the child. So okay. you as a parent are not allowed to contact the donor at all. The non-anonymous means that they are willing to be contacted by the child once the child turns 18. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And then for the anonymous, then the child does not have the right to contact right, that right, person right. when they turn 18. I want to how what's the percentage of that? Like well, how many people I think it's about 30% are anonymous. 30% are anonymous. Yes, and the rest of them are anonymous. I would have thought it was the opposite. It's changing a bit. And then yeah. Wait, that really, that's shocking. Like if I don't well, you know what? If I donated an egg, I'd probably be like, yeah, you can contact. Like, yeah, as long as they knew that I couldn't be a parent. Like, I, right. guess, I guess it's in the legal documents and stuff, right? Right. Well, it's when the child is past 18. Right, so right. They're already they can do what they want anyway. Exactly. Right. So, um, yeah, but we crazy. do tell our donors now it's a little bit harder to be anonymous with 23andMe and some of those other things. So That's we true. do kind of counsel them and have right. them take that under consideration. They right. also do have a, um, you know, kind of a psychiatric evaluation of them as well to make oh, sure that, that they so happy. totally understand what they're getting into, yeah. what the consequences are of, you know, being a donor and what could happen in the future and things like that. So we do try yeah. to have those conversations with them so that they're really prepared for knowing what they're doing and, you know, wanting to go forward. How much do you need to order and how much does it cost? So we recommend that for home insemination that you do two MOT 10 straws. Okay. And then what we're telling people from you know our perspective is that you know track your ovulation, know your ovulation, right. and that's going to make it easy for you. But we still ask that you're going to wrap around your ovulation because we're just not that great at tracking it. No, I'm figuring you'd it out. You be tracking your own body. It's, that's the yeah. it's, who's going to be better at that than it's, yourself. But. but it's still not easy. No, you know? it's not. So to miss that window, so what we say is you're going to wrap around it. So you're going to do one insemination, and then 12 hours later do a, the second insemination. So no, it's kind chances. of wrapping it around right. that ovulation and hoping, you know, that you're you're hitting the right time. Okay. In that. that and makes the, sense. And the frozen sperm does last a little bit um, less than fresh sperm, so like two days, it will stay in your body and be viable for that period of time. Fresh okay. um, sperm is usually five to seven days, so it does last a little bit longer. But it can be with the shipping and two Mott 10 sperm it can be anywhere from about twelve hundred dollars to fifteen hundred. So it could be a little bit more if you're choosing a donor that has a higher motility, higher IQ, extended blue eyes. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> we don't do that with IQ, but also on an extended profile, if there's more information, et cetera, about them, then right. you do charge a little bit more. And my viewers are getting a 5% discount on this. That's right. right. So if anyone That's uses, right. and you guys are not just based in Orlando, what other places in the US? Oh, the whole US. The whole, literally literally the, whole the entire US. You, you can ship, ship anywhere. Ship. So yeah. if and you guys also, want to have a baby. We also <laughs> ship to 100 countries now. Some 100 of countries? That's Denmark as well as us, but yeah, oh absolutely. My God. So if they find a donor that they like, we can probably make it work no matter where they are. Discount for you is Ariel 5. Yeah, if you guys want to have a baby, and this is for egg donors as well, right? If you want an egg? Yes. If you're, if you're a gay yeah. couple and, and you, they need an egg. And you need an egg, egg, okay. So this is for either either of those. I'll put the link in the description below. You can use discount code Ariel5 for 5% five off, right? Yep. Which is like, it's like a few hundred bucks. That's yep. a lot of money. So another question is, how do you know that the applicant is being honest when they're filling out these forms? We try to get our people to ask questions multiple ways, multiple times. Okay. So like the front desk person, they send an application, the nurse, uh, anybody that's interacting with them are asking questions different ways to try and make sure that they are being honest about their answers. That's smart. Yeah. That's like detective work. Yeah. It really, no, it really is. It's like psychological, yeah. like, yeah. And what about HIV, STDs and stuff like that? So they do absolutely get an STD uh, test and also we do uh, check for HIV as well. So they're okay. doing blood tests continuously throughout their whole donation process. So it's okay. not just a one and done, like they have right. to continually as they give be screened for all STDs and for HIV. The first time that they donate, okay. um, we're basically checking the motility, we're checking uh, just 
that they have a really good viable sperm. Right. But in addition to that, the FDA requires us to quarantine that sperm sample, and they can do up to 10 um, for their first ejaculate batch. And then for six months, we have to hold that to make sure that everything is fine before we can actually release the donor. Somebody said, ask about their buyback policy. Let's say you have a child and your partner wants to have a child or maybe you want to have another child. Okay. You can actually put your donor on reserve to say, I want to have a sibling, okay? Okay, oh, okay. That so sense. if you sell that back to us, like you decide you don't want to have another child or you want to choose a different donor or something, then we do a 75% back. You, do, you have like a 25% I didn't even know this is a stock fee, right? To, to reach I didn't even, and, I, I thought this so was real. Okay, no, this is a real thing. thing. So it's really, okay. a lot of people do it for siblings because that makes sense. you don't yeah. want your donor to go away. Right, right. If, you know, you, three years from now, you would like to have a sibling for right, your right, child. Right. Then, that makes sense. Yeah, Okay. so that's why we do it. What type of sperm is the highest in demand? And do you mean sperm by like the bot or do you mean I like guess, the person? I think the person is what yeah. they mean. Yeah, so typically, Caucasian. Okay. People come to us actually because we do have a pretty good ethnicity and the fact that we're in Florida, so we have a lot of Latino, right. um, African American. We would love to have more Asians. It's tough for us to um, get donors from the Asian community. Go to New York. But um, yeah, so, <laughs> they're, they're all in New York. But yeah, people yeah. people love to have just you know they want them to either look like themselves, you know, maybe their their partner, you know, like sense. if you're having the child, then maybe you want her to have. Features Not that you're going to get blue eyes, but if your partner right. had blue eyes, then maybe they maybe pick a donor that had light eyes right, or right, right. light hair or whatever. Or even the facial features, you know, like wide cheeks or skinny nose or, right. you know, whatever. That makes is. sense. So, yeah. yeah. So thank you so much for taking the time out. You're so thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for being in this video. Yeah, absolutely. If you guys are based in Orlando and want to come in, yes. I'll have the link in the description if you want to just check out their website. I'll have that also in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a big thumbs up. And thank yeah. you so much to... Thank what, you. What's your channel? I don't even know the channel. Okay, is it, so is it Sandra Ray? Mm -hmm. I don't even. It's Sandra Ray. It is, right? Is it? I don't know. <laughs> what's the channel name? It's not okay. Missy and Ray. It's not Missy. No, Ray. it's just because I that's started it on my own to begin with. Right, so right, Sandra, right. Sandra Ray. Is it Sandra Ray? That's what it is. Sure? Yes. Okay, go and check out their channel. She's uh, eating he's, my he's eating my hand. She's eating my finger too. You want to eat my hand? I wouldn't eat that if I were you. Ooh. I don't know where that's been. <laughs> it hasn't been anywhere in the last year. <laughs> go and check out Cryos International if you want to get an egg or a sperm. If you are a family, if you're a gay family, if you're a straight family, they are. Are very 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 supportive of the gay community they were I met them actually at Fort Lauderdale Pride did you really yeah they were there looking for you know families yeah they're amazing yeah well the thing is is that like even if you're just questioning it even if you're single and you want to get pregnant you know that's a video coming soon I have, I have a video about single lesbian moms really yeah. yeah they can answer any questions that you have about getting pregnant so yeah you love this so go and check them out and I will see you guys back here in a few days with a brand new video until then I love you love yourselves love you and I love Thank lesbian you. Moms. Ah!